Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction action film, Alita Battle Angel. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in the year 2563 in a crumbling dystopian society. 300 years before, there was a terrible galactic war that ravaged the world. In the ruins of a city, a scientist short-named Doctor finds pieces of the female cyborg he had long been looking for. What's rare about this cyborg is that it has an intact human brain inside it. He takes all the pieces he can find and brings them to his laboratory. Together with his assistant, they examine the slumbering consciousness of the cyborg and repair the damage on her body. The cyborg wakes up in a bedroom. Her body had been fixed with new parts, and she is still getting used to being whole again. She puts on a set of clothes left for her and then goes downstairs. Doctor and his assistant are already in the laboratory waiting for her. They eagerly inspect and ask the cyborg how she's feeling. She slowly replies that she is feeling hungry. They sit her down at the table and give her an orange. She doesn't know anything about herself or the world, much less than how to eat an orange. The good news is that all her new body parts seem to be working fine. The cyborg asks the scientist who she is. Unfortunately, there are no records of her past life, so nobody knows about her identity. The cyborg excitedly steps out of the scientist's laboratory. She is awed by the colorful world outside, despite the obvious destruction in the city. Up above, an impressive sky city hovers above them. She learns from reading the sign in front of the laboratory the scientist's name. In turn, she asks him if she has a name. Doctor tells her that her name is Alita. The assistant is shocked by the name he decided to give the cyborg because it's the name of his dead daughter. Doctor further explains that after the Great War centuries ago, all refugees crowded the Earth, but were not allowed to go up to the Sky City. While walking, Alita notices a large billboard displaying footage of a popular sport called Motorball, where cyborgs race to the death. She is curious about the game, but Doctor cautions her to stay away from it. Doctor steps away momentarily and leaves Alita alone to wander around. She finds a cute dog on the street and rescues it from a cold-blooded sentinel robot that patrols the city as police. A boy named Hugo helps Alita and strikes up a conversation with her. He is intrigued when she reveals that she was a cyborg discovered by Doctor in a scrapyard. Their conversation is interrupted when Doctor returns and subtly signals to Hugo that he doesn't want Alita to know everything. Hugo and Doctor know each other because the boy supplies the scientist with the mechanical parts he needs. That night, a cyborg girl who lives nearby is taken and killed by an unknown entity. A few hours later, Alita watches Doctor come home, wearing a trench coat and carrying a large box. The next morning, Alita assists Doctor in one of his appointments. The patient is a cyborg man, whose arms and legs were chopped off by a vicious gang. Alita learns that gangs roam the streets, looking for cyborgs to hack off their limbs and use as parts for the motorball games. The girl who disappeared last night was their latest victim. Doctor shushes the patient, not wanting to scare Alita. He tells Alita that she should not go outside after dark. Of course, Alita still wants to explore, so she goes out to the streets. She bumps into a well-dressed dark-haired woman who is very interested in Alita's new limbs. It turns out she is Doctor's wife. She's surprised by Alita's body because it was the cyborg body Doctor built years ago for their own daughter. Alita finds Hugo again in a makeshift motorball rink filled with kids of their age. He invites her to play with them. The players all wear rollerblade shoes, and the goal is to score by getting the ball and tossing it inside the goalpost. Alita initially suffers injuries from the rough game, but she quickly learns and becomes adept at it. Hugo is impressed by her skills. Meanwhile, Doctor and his wife go to a cafe. She offers him a new job working with her again to make cyborg players for the professional motorball games. She is under the employment of Vector, the leader of the vicious gang controlling the games. The wife is from the Sky City, and she's willing to do anything to get back there. She's hoping that Vector's connections will grant her wish. Too busy enjoying herself, Alita makes it home late. Doctor reprimands her for not taking his curfew seriously. Hugo shows Alita a clandestine spot atop a ruined building that has a great view of the Sky City. He reveals that it's his dream to go up to the Sky City. Alita answers that she thought it was impossible for regular humans to go up there. Hugo says that with the right connections and enough money, people can go to the Sky City. Hugo also adds that since Doctor found Alita in the scrapyard filled with things dumped from the Sky City, she must be from there as well. That night, Alita sees Doctor sneaking out again, wearing a trench coat and carrying the big box. Alita follows him into the dark streets and watches as he stalks an unsuspecting female cyborg wearing a red hood. Doctor opens the box and assembles a huge metal weapon. He waits in a corner to surprise the cyborg. 
Just as he's about to attack her, Alita jumps in front of Doctor and stops him. But the cyborg has disappeared, and Doctor realizes that it's a trap. A large hulking robot named Gruishka confronts Doctor. Another male cyborg appears and fights with Doctor. Gruishka and his crew are the ones who have been killing female cyborgs in the city. The scientist manages to fight off the male cyborg for a while, but he is eventually overpowered. Alita comes to his rescue and surprisingly shows remarkable prowess in martial arts. She takes the male cyborg down and then kills the female cyborg as well. Finally, she squares off with Gruishka. While fighting him, Alita remembers a long-lost memory from her past. She was on the moon, and she was part of an army fighting another army. Apparently, she was a skilled warrior. Gruishka smartly decides to leave rather than finish the fight with Alita. Now alone, Doctor reveals to her that he works as a hunter-warrior who chases down wanted criminals in exchange for money. They go home, and Doctor tells Alita about his daughter, who was born with paralyzed legs. Doctor built a cyborg body for her when the time came. Back then, he worked as a cyborg builder for the motorball games. One day, one of his cyborg creations broke into his clinic to steal drugs. While escaping, he killed Doctor's daughter. Doctor blamed himself for creating destructive cyborgs, and so he became a bounty hunter. Meanwhile, his wife left him due to the grief of losing their daughter. Doctor examines Alita's vitals, and he explains that her heart contains a reactor strong enough to power the city. On the other side, an injured Gruishka appears in the wife's house. He begs her to heal him. While she's inspecting his body for repair, she discovers that his mind was implanted with a surveillance chip that allows his body to be hijacked by someone else. Sure enough, Gruishka flickers to life, but someone else is speaking through him. This mysterious being reveals that Alita knows the ancient martial arts called Panzer Kunz, which enables her to take on robots bigger and stronger than she is. The mysterious being orders the wife to repair Gruishka, so he can take Alita to him. In return, he will grant her passage to the Sky City. The wife agrees. Doctor discovers that the authorities in the city haven't placed a bounty on Gruishka yet, despite Doctor reporting him. He surmises that someone powerful from the Sky City must be protecting Gruishka. Alita wants to volunteer to be a hunter-warrior herself, so she can train and be strong enough to fight Gruishka. But Doctor is overprotective and disagrees with her idea. Hugo takes Alita to the motorball game. She's fascinated by the exciting and deadly race. A cyborg with a red suit emerges as the winner. Hugo explains that the final champion of the games gets a chance to go to the Sky City. Vector and Doctor's wife are there, and he comments that the Red Cyborg must have cheated. The wife takes this as an opportunity to punish the Red Cyborg by getting his precious grind cutters chopped off for her project. Hugo's friends appear, he gets a serious look on his face, and vaguely tells Alita that they have somewhere else to go for the night. The Red Cyborg steps out into the street, ready to celebrate his victory. A band of hooded men attacks him. They saw off his limbs. It's revealed that the hooded men are Hugo and his friends. They work as scrap dealers for Vector, who take parts from cyborgs. Vector tells Hugo to deliver the freshly sawed off grind cutters to the wife. The next day, Hugo and his friends take Alita on a day trip outside the city. They go deep inside the forest, and Hugo shows her a spaceship that crashed on Earth. It's a remnant of the great war between the Sky Cities and the armies of Mars. One by one, the Sky Cities fell but one city remained and defeated Mars. Alita gets a strange sense of familiarity when she sees the spaceship wreck. She dives into the river to get to the submerged spaceship. When she finds a chamber, she immediately knows how to access the console and finds the cyborg body hidden there. Alita takes the cyborg body to Doctor's lab. She asks Doctor to install her in that cyborg body so she can be more powerful, but Doctor still does not want her to put herself at risk. He explains that he knew all along that Alita used to be a warrior for the Mars armies. Because the mysterious being rules the Sky City, he wants to see Alita, the last of the Mars army and technology, to be eradicated. The reactor inside her matches perfectly with the cyborg body. He reveals that Alita is the most advanced cyborg weapon ever created, but he will not allow her to live that life again. Alita still registers as a hunter-warrior against Doctor's wishes. The moment she gets her badge, she takes Hugo to a bar frequented by bounty hunters like her. The legendary hunter, Zapan, tries to intimidate her. But Alita pleads her case and asks the hunters to band together against Gruishka, but they all just laugh at her. So she displays her strength by defeating Zapan. Alita then issues a challenge. She will take on all the bounty hunters, and if she wins, they have to stand with her. An all-out brawl ensues, and chaos erupts in the bar. But Doctor arrives and stops the brawl from continuing. He scolds Alita for disobeying him, but she reasons that she does not have any choice. 
Gruishka appears at the bar. He is bigger and stronger than ever after Doctor's wife outfitted him with red cyborg's parts. Gruishka demands that Alita be turned over to him. No one steps up to protect her, except the same dog that she rescued the other day. Gruishka kills the dog brutally in front of Alita. This angers her, and she squares off against him. They go deep underground and fight. Gruishka's new tentacle limbs slice Alita's body into pieces. All that is left is her upper torso and one hand. She remembers another memory. This time, she was training with her mentor, who advised her to look deeper to see the unseen. The mentor then showed her a picture of a man named Nova, telling Alita that he is the enemy. Alita snaps back to the present. With all her strength, she forces herself upwards and punches straight through Gruishka's eye. She yanks the machinery out of his head. Doctor, Hugo, and another bounty hunter arrive, and they work together to finish Gruishka off. Doctor carries Alita's dying and broken body back to his lab. He has now changed his mind. He installs Alita in the Mars cyborg body, so she can protect herself. The newly resurrected Alita heads straight to Hugo. He is happy that she is back, and the two share an iron tongue massage. Later that night, Hugo has a meeting with Vector. Vector has promised the boy that if he brings him one million credits worth of cyborg parts, he will send him to the Sky City. But now he wants Alita, and Hugo is his way to get her. The next day, Hugo tells Alita about his deal with Vector. She tells him that she will work as a bounty hunter to come up with the money. Hugo refuses. Then she suggests that they sell her Mars reactor heart so they can both go to the Sky City. But Hugo does not want to endanger her life. Instead, he suggests that she become a professional motorball player. Unbeknownst to her, this is all part of the plan to deliver Alita to Vector. Alita agrees. Doctor helps her prepare for the tryouts. Meanwhile, Vector enlists the other motorball players and places a bounty on Alita's head. Hugo has a change of heart and tells his friends that he no longer wants to steal cyborg parts. He gets into a fight with his male friend until Zappin appears. He kills the male friend to frame Hugo as an act of revenge against Alita. Hugo fights back and momentarily escapes Zapan. Just as the tryout is about to begin, Doctor realizes that it's a trap to kill Alita. He warns her that all the contestants will be coming for her. Alita does not back out, but instead dives headfirst into the fight. One by one, she defeats all of the cyborgs. Hugo calls Alita, telling her that Zapan is after him. She immediately exits the arena to go to his location, but three other cyborgs follow her. She handles them first and defeats them. But Zapan still gets to Hugo first. Alita arrives just as Zapan stabs Hugo with his sword. Since Zapan framed him for murder, Hugo is now wanted as a criminal. And because Alita is a bounty hunter, she's not allowed to intervene in Zapan killing Hugo. The only other option is for Alita to finish Hugo herself. She and Hugo retreat inside the old church. He confesses his love for her as he lies dying. Doctor's wife arrives and overhears the emotional conversation between the two. She's moved and decides not to tell Vector as she found them. Instead, she helps Alita. They slice Hugo's head off, and Alita claims him as her bounty. Zapan tries to get the head, but the Sentinel robots detect this as a violation of the Hunter's Code. Now Alita has the grounds to execute Zapan, and she does. Alita brings Hugo's head back, and they attach it to a cyborg body. Doctor explains that Vector's promise of sending people to the Sky City is a scam. Doctor and his wife were originally from the Sky City, but were banished to Earth because of his daughter's illness. The banishment was ordered by the mysterious being who governs the Sky City. Only the final champion of the motorball games really goes to the Sky City. An angry Alita confronts Vector. He reveals that he does keep his promise, but not in the way people expect it. He butchers humans and sells their body parts to the mysterious being who uses them for his experiments. In fact, he has just butchered Doctor's wife. Gruishka appears and they fight again. This time, Alita emerges victorious. Alita remembers another memory. She was part of the assault on the last Sky City. She and her mentor were climbing up the tube leading to the city, but a large metal ring descended on them and killed most of the Mars army. Alita almost died, but her mentor saved her at the expense of her own life. Right then, the mysterious being possesses Vector and speaks to Alita. She vows revenge on him and kills Vector. Doctor calls Alita, informing her that the police are chasing Hugo. He's now attempting to climb up the tube to the Sky City. Alita hurries to the tube and pleads with Hugo not to go. Hugo changes his mind, but the same metal ring descends on them and slices his body into pieces. Alita manages to hold on to his torso, but he accepts his fate and falls to his death. The movie ends with Alita rising through the ranks of Motorball. When she finally becomes the final champion, she will go to the Sky City and exact her revenge on the mysterious being. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel.
Stay safe and enjoy your day.